All right, how's it going y'all? Today we're gonna to be talking about link aggregation on TrueNAS 12. All right, so first off, what is link aggregation? Link aggregation is a method that allows you to spread out multiple connections across multiple different wires, meaning that you can have four gigabit connections and then you can have four different people all connecting with gigabit connections to it. This really speeds up multi-user performance and allows you to save a ton of money because you don't have to upgrade to these next gen protocols you can still stay with the gigabit and the 10 gigabit levels depending on what you're using and still have incredibly fast multi-user performance. And so another thing that it does is it provides failover protection. Say you had a cord or NIC fail, basically all the other traffic would be routed around that route, meaning that your entire network does not go down because of one failed cable. All right, so now I wanna talk about a couple of caveats with link aggregation and things that people tend to get kind of confused on. First off, link aggregation does not mean you can connect one client over a faster connection. So say I have link aggregation on my computer, which has four gigabit connections, and I also have link aggregation on my TrueNAS build, which also has four gigabit connections. My computer is still only going to be limited to the maximum of a one gigabit connection. This is because all of the traffic still has to go through one cable, otherwise you'll start having issues with packet mismatching. There is a Samba Alpha out there, it allows you to do SMB multi-channel. However, it is alpha, it is incredibly buggy. Do not do this on any data you expect to ever use. It is just for testing right now, but in future releases, this actually might be something you can do. Currently, you can still do it on Windows to Windows machines, but due to the fact that TrueNAS runs free BSD, it's not gonna to come to it for a while. So now the caveat is there's kind of two different types of link aggregation, active and passive. Active, or LHCP, actually allows you to have multiple connections that are dynamically balanced. So say I have 16 clients and four of them are using the traffic really hard. Essentially what it would do is it would route two high-performing clients and two high-performing clients, both on one NIC, as to balance it out as much as possible. And it will actually dynamically change throughout the environment. This is different from passive link aggregation. Passive link aggregation really does not understand what traffic is coming down the network or how much of a bottleneck there is. With passive link aggregation, when your computer connects to a network, it basically goes and checks and says, okay, this cable has three people on it, the other cable has four people on it. I'll put you on the cable with three people on it. Then you will be on that cable until you disconnect. And it doesn't matter if the three people who are already on your cable are all using it heavily, while the four people are not using it at all, you will still be put to that. With very large networks, this is actually not too big of a deal because on average, it'll all even out. But for smaller offices, you're gonna to wanna to try to avoid this as you don't get as much of a performance increase, though it does also allow you to have multiple switches connected for additional failover. And the final caveat is if you're using active link aggregation, which is what I'm gonna be doing here, your switch also has to support it. If you're using passive link aggregation, any switch will work and you can actually go in between switches but if you're doing active, you have to go into one switch and it has to be configured for it. All right, and so now let's go ahead and set it up. So I'm gonna be doing this on my TrueNAS R630 build, which has two SFP plus ports, and they're both going into my Unify 16XG, which has 12 10 gigabit SFP plus ports and four 10 gigabit base T ports or copper ports. All right, and so now before we configure anything, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in that second cable though I'm not gonna configure anything quite yet. All right, so now that I've gone ahead and plugged in that additional cable, we can go ahead and set up link aggregation on the switch first. So I'm gonna go ahead and log into my Unify right here. And as you can see, I'm using a new dashboard. So all I have to do is go into devices, select the switch. And as you can see, I've got these two different ports plugged in right here. So all I have to do is click on one of them. So now we're just gonna select the port right here we're gonna select the first port and click edit. And under profile overrides, we're gonna select aggregate right here. Now it's going to say aggregate and select your port. So it's one and two, and that's all we need to do. Now just go ahead and click apply. All right, so now that we've set up link aggregation on the switch, we need to go ahead and set it up on the console. TrueNAS does have it within the web interface, but I've never been able to get this work to work. So what I've done is I've logged into iDRAC which essentially is a remote console that allows me to get up to the keyboard and mouse of the iDRAC, of the TrueNAS build. So that's what it is here. 
And so it's really easy to use. All you need to do is hit two for configure link aggregation. One, create link aggregation. Two, for LACP, which is the protocol we're using. That's that dynamic link aggregation. And now select the interfaces. Make sure they're the same speed. So IX is my 10 gigabit connection. So I'm gonna do one and one again to select the two 10 gigabit connections and Q to end it. And it's gonna take a minute and boom, now it's up. As you can see right here, it did not get the proper thing from DHCP. So I'm just gonna configure using a static IP address. And so now we can configure it with lag zero. And so I'm just gonna set it up with the proper IP address. All right, and just like that, it should be up. And so let's go ahead and log in. Hey, we are now in and everything is just working as we expect it to. And now we can see for the interfaces, we have this lag zero. And so now I have two different routes and so theoretically I could get a 20 gigabit connection from two different clients to this thing and have some really powerful stuff, which is what I'm really excited about. All right, well now link aggregation is set up on your TrueNAS build. Go ahead and leave any other tutorials you'd like to see me make, especially TrueNAS ones in the comments below and have a good one. Bye.